peace, peace, namaste, namaste, all the above, to the omegas, and to the humans, we come in peace, so I want to say we come in peace, um, yeah, I, I, today I wanted to talk about, um, simple, uh, Ebony proverbs, Ebonic proverbs, indigenous proverbs that happen in this country. Well, specifically one today. And the one I want to talk about today is, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. Literally, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. Now, if you break that down and look up the definitions of each word, all right, now money can be also called wealth or riches or knowledge sense is like getting your gears turning sense add up like c-e-n-t-s change pennies and we all know that you know if it don't make money it don't make sense so if you if you're trying to sell a product and it costs you more to actually get rid of the product, it don't make sense because it's not making you any money. Now, to, to go even further on that, um, the brain has some of the most, some of your most valuable and precious memories and thoughts and knowledge, which is wealth, in the brain. So, basically, we are one. And we cannot lie to each other because we are each other. And that explains to me why I, when a friend or the government or anybody tells me a lie, why I'll accept it right away or, you know, like, all oh, that makes sense and keep contemplating on it and then, you know, figure out, like, hey, all right, this, there's something more to it or, you know, maybe they, they, they it's a blatant lie. Or even sometimes it's just... Yeah, they only telling us two fucking percent of the story. Like it's 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 sad. Like that's how they do it. So basically, man, like when somebody tell you a lie, you keep thinking about it because your brain knows that it's not valuable information that you're being given. That's like putting a counterfeit bill in a soda machine. Over and over and over. You're never going to get that soda machine to take that counterfeit bill unless you blind the machine somehow so it can't see that that bill is counterfeit. That's why they put um, um, security things in checks so clerks can see that the check is not counterfeit. The check is wealth. The check is power. It's not knowledge, though. But <laughs> y'all need to really appreciate the wealth that I'm disseminating to you because this wealth right here, this wealth can't be stolen from you because it's already in you. Like, that's the only reason why they have control because they're using the wealth that you and I created. Yeah. That's, that's why so many iterations of the cross, because they had to get the programming right, they had to relate to us in the correct way. And, and for those of you that don't know, the cross is a representation of the sun and the four seasons, S-U-N, not S-O-N, but it's crazy that S-U-N, S-V-N, and S-O-N all coincide, S-V-N, seven, S-O-N, sun, S-U-N, sun. And I'm telling you, the cross with the circle around it is the sun and the solar system. The one we call soul, S-O-L. Crazy, right? That is wild. Like, I don't understand why people won't just look like Google is at your fingertips. I understand some people don't know how to properly research and that's going to be another video. I'm going to have to drop another day. My goal is to try to keep my videos under 10 minutes. And, you know, I don't... I don't it's, it's, it's too much. It's like trying to look at the universe when we try to look at our problems and we can't yet see the entire universe. It's wild. Like, 
I, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Why people will allow these lies to keep going forward when you know, I, yeah, my brain won't take that. My brain won't accept it. You're playing yourself. You're playing yourself. It don't make money, it don't make sense. So tell me why does it make sense that the Bible tells you that? Okay, first of all, so called African Americans came from Africa, right? And you got freed by the Lord, a Lord, because if you're not writing LORD in all caps, you're not talking about the all knowing God. Remember, uh, yes, my lord. <laughs> You're talking about a man. A man. And, 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 and the reason why they can't kill us is because the universe won't let them kill us all. We can't kill them all. We are metaphorically God. And they are metaphorically man. Point blank period. And I just dropped the video about uh, Jacob and Esau, and that right there shows you how the Muslims and the uh, Christians, Jacob's story coincide. The Muslims say that uh, Jacob had been part of a geneticist experiment, but you know, Jacob just had a lot of fucking kids. She was a thought, just like they said, Mary Magdalene was a thought. That makes sense, too. She got some black meat before she was supposed to, and then nobody knew her son's birthday because she wasn't married, and if she told people she was pregnant, she hid why she was pregnant, too. That's the other thing, because people saying, oh, the bastard child, look at this whore. That's why, I mean, all, and then the, the simple fact is all of these stories are copies of the perverted truth, and the perverted truth, I mean, they, yeah, they are perverted truth. All of these stories of every religion. The truth is that religion is a portion of science. What is really out there. Religion is only a portion. And seeing is believing, right? Right? Remember that. What is it to, to, to chase Christianity, to follow Christianity? It's belief. To believe in you're believing it without any facts, any concrete facts. You're believing this. I used to be a devout Christian. I had some miracles that I've experienced in my life. I believe. But then I started realizing that your eyes don't see. They recognize. Your brain is what sees. So you got to recognize with your eyes and then cognate with your brain what's being relayed to you. Because you know I said cognate, cognitive, not recognition, but cognition. Yeah, cognitive ability, cognition. The gears <laughs> turning in your brain. You recognize it, but you're seeing it as okay. But you need to see what it is. What is it? Why is that information being given to you? Why is it that the Bible keeps telling you to stay away from Egypt? Don't worship no gods that your forefathers did not worship before, but you came from Egypt. Why is it that they try to take Egypt and make it the Middle East, the entire Middle East? does not exist. The more indoctrinated a person is, the less perception they have. Seeing is not perceiving. Thinking is perceiving. People that's black, they tell you, you want to hide something? Put it in a book. You know why? Because when you're sleeping, the part of your brain that processes language it's not active. That's why anytime you've had a dream and there was other people in there, 
they're not talking to you. But you can communicate with them. It's almost like telekinesis. You know what's going on because of vibes in your dream. You can feel their vibrations, how they feel towards you and all that. Like, they don't talk to you because you sleep. The government not talking to you for no reparations because you're asleep. Put it in a book. They won't be able to read it. They won't be able to see it. Because they're dreaming. Stop dreaming. The time is over for dreams. It's time to come back into reality. They, they tell you that uh, you know your words are power. Speak them. Speak things into existence. I'm speaking into existence that the time is now for the Onegas to wake up. Right now. Not not next year, not the year after. We need to come together, consolidate our ideas, uh, correct history, and, and include you know things that were implemented in history on purpose as a lie. Like for instance, the Daughters of the Lost Cause of the Confederate, Daughters of the Confederacy. We call it the Lost Cause. Um, the Lost Cause Boys, and that's who caused the Proud Boys to run around. But that's a whole nother video. I'm already up to my mark. Uh, see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, and don't forget to leave comments. And I may or may not read the comments, but I'm not scared of constructive criticism. There's nothing that you can say or do to hurt me besides call me on my name, and then I'm going to sue you. And then if I can't sue you, I'm going to put my hands on you. Straight like that. 1293 Brentwood Road, DC. No fees. Pull up if you must. Willing to debate anybody, anybody that wants to even try to uh, debunk any of the theories that I've been given or facts. The theories, I'm willing to pay you $100 to get me off of my theory and $200 to debunk a fact. Thank you. Have a great day.